Hey guys, we are doing a haul today. Woo! I hope you're all surviving this torturous winter that we're having. It has been a season. I've never done a haul before. This is my first one, but I wanted to show you four vintage coats that I bought this past season that I've really upped my winter game. The four coats you're about to see I found at 347 Queen West. That's the handle on Instagram. I know vintage isn't for everyone, but I have to say that in this world that we're living in where it's all about excess and all about new things and the latest finds and trends, vintage coats and vintage articles of clothing is where it's at because a, you won't break the bank, and B, you can find really unique pieces that no one else has. All you gotta do is find those pieces that are still in great condition and then take them to the dry cleaner and they're new as day. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with this fabulous faux fur piece. Now, as we know, the fur look is not going anywhere. We've seen it on the big screen, we've seen it on the biggest celebrities, Marilyn Monroe in the 50s, gentlemen with fur blondes. We've seen it on Sex and the City, American Hustle. I'm not a big fan of real fur for many, many reasons. I love my faux fur. And this, I got for $40. It's super soft, it's dark green, it's oversized, which I love. And it's really, really warm. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this one but big fan of shoulder pads. So that's why I got this guy. As you can see, the shoulder pads are here to say hello. What's great about this coat too, is it has fantastic trimming. Right at the top here on the neckline and the sleeves. This can probably be worn three seasons out of the year which is great, because I'll definitely get my $20 worth. Yes, this coat, also $20. Compare it with jeans, t-shirt, this coat kind of stands out on its own because it makes you look a bit broader. And it has different punches of color that aren't aggressive, bold enough that you can see they're there. Okay, a little pop of color. I got this in December. So around the holidays, I really wanted a festive coat but I've actually worn this since Christmas and I feel really good about it. This coat was $20, $20. What really drew me in was the color and the architecture of the coat. Look how cool it is. So it has like a back cape that you can clip. This coat kind of makes me feel like a modern day Asian Little Red Riding Hood. All right, and last but not least, Every lady out there needs a trench coat. And as you can see, shoulder pads are back in action. What I love about this coat as well is its teal lining. So the pop-up had a 50% off sale a couple weeks ago. Walked in without knowing and I scored this guy for only $15. Also, I wanna add that when you have jackets that come with a belt, that comes with the loopholes, what's great about it is that you can get rid of this belt whenever you want throw on a belt of your own, but what I'd like to do is slap on a waist bag. Shimmy! Four coats in total, $95. They're all really warm, so practical, and stylistically really unique. It doesn't matter how much you spend on a given piece of clothing. As long as it makes you feel fucking awesome, own it. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below for more hauls and more accessible tips and videos coming your way. Bye.